marrying everyone like this? Until your husband tells us otherwise, Mrs. Scorpio. Oh, well, I'm sure he has his reasons. Yes, ma'am. <coughs> oh, Hi. Hi. I just heard about Tony. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Oh, I'm so happy oh, for you. I feel you. like I've come out of one of the longest nightmares I've ever had. It's not over yet. Yeah, but at least there's a change for the better. Right. Well, what brings you by? Well, I called your office, and all your secretary would say was you were at the hospital. So I thought something terrible had happened, and I came right over, but they told me the good news downstairs. Yeah, well, because of this good news, I've now placed uh, General Hospital under the heaviest security. Yes, so I noticed. You expecting something? I want to be prepared for anything. Tony is going to have every chance to recover. Well, from the look of this place, I'm sure he will. Excuse me, Mrs. Jones. Oh, Dr. Palmer, is he all right? He's about the same. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? Well, it's better. When can I see him? Now. Now? But oh. Just for a brief period of time. Okay, I understand. Oh. Say hello for me. Okay? Hello. Look, I'm not going to be delayed here for a while. So I want to check everything out and make sure that Tony has every possible piece of protection. Well, I'll wait for you. Well, I could be, uh, I could be held up for quite a while. Oh, I'll find something to do. Holly. I'm going out of my mind. Would you join me for a cup of coffee, please? Great. Okay. I'll see you later. Uh, Prisco. Yeah. While you're at it, make it two cups. You're a mess. <laughs> He's right. I imagine uh, Tony's improvement must change things a lot. Some things, yeah. Some things, no. Definitely not the person who got us into this mess. campus tomorrow, but we'll take most of the shots at the rally. How many minutes worth do you need? Um, I mean about ten. You have to be as, as good, if not as, as better than a music video, all right? So give me double what I want, and then I'll make the choices. Maybe we should scout the locations. Yeah, I have a map here. I've pinpointed where the rally's going to be, and I've also circled a couple of the other hot spots. See, you guys go check that out, and I'll be here. Okay. Yeah. Who's here? I don't have to look, Josh. I thought maybe maybe Felicia might. What? Maybe maybe she might want to talk to you. No. Has she been crying? Josh, can we stick to the subject, the show, the alumni rally, making a living? Let's get the whole damn thing together, all right? Now sit down. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm here for. Okay, fellas, come on, we gotta get to work here. Josh, come on, I gotta talk to you about this. Are you just gonna walk around here and ignore? No. I'm going to work on the logistics of my show. That's what I'm trying to do. Would you like to help me? That's why I called you over here. Great. I don't know. I'm sorry. I just, I just find it hard to believe you get out of your system that fast. Really? Why? I don't know. You guys are so close, you know? I don't know tell, uh, tell what happened. What happened was pretty major, Josh. Yeah. All right, look. I wanted to talk to you about this area. How's it going, Michael? Robert, is, is Tony safe? Has something happened? Everything's... Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There's no problem. Do you have any new leads or anything? Not at the moment, but we're on top of it all. We've doubled the guard, too. That's good. Anything from Dr. Palmer? Or Rick? Not as yet, but the minute I know something, uh, I'll tell you. On the other hand, if you know something, you'll tell me. All right? Thanks. Got a few minutes to talk? Sure. If I'm interrupting. No, I was just waiting on my counsel. Got a few minutes to talk? Sure. If I'm interrupting. No, I was just waiting on my counsel, but I have an appointment to speak to my maid. I'd, um, like to ask you a few questions about Peter. Uh, you know that he's left the country, and at this stage, there's not much chance of his catching him. He can't get away with what he did. 
No, hopefully. But maybe you can help. You can tell me about the uh, wounds that Peter had, the ones that Tony treated. Uh, what were they? Think very carefully about this, because it's important. He was crippled on one leg and he had a limp. Were we? Wait. How could you tell that? When he first came in, you said he collapsed. Yeah, we should have. He took a few steps. It was a limp. He took over the waterfall. Yeah. He also had a bandage. He has a bandage on his shoulder. Which side? Um, it was the right side. It had to be the right side leg because he was bleeding very badly from another wound and that was on the right side too. Very good, Felicia. Now, are you sure it was a knife wound? Yeah, I remember Tony saying so. Why? It's a theory I'm working on. I'm sorry I'm late, Felicia. Well, that's all right, Mr. Pryor. Uh, you must be the police commissioner. Yes. The counselor. I sure hope you get the guy that shot that doctor from general. <laughs> well, we're doing our best. Uh, Felicia, if I need you for anything else. Oh, I'll be around here all day, or you can leave a message at Kelly's. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, what a crowd. Yes, what a crowd. Let's go say hello to see you again. Thanks. I love one. Well, you're off to a fine start. Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah. oh, have you seen the paintings yet? No, bother. We must go have a look. Uh, yes, let's do. Come along, Edward. Well, might as well. Uh, there's still room to navigate. I uh, wonder if I should buy one. Oh, Dad, would be a lovely gem. Well, just an investment, by the way. So have you sold that? Yes, I cannot believe the crowd that you have.